Hi, I'm Scott with SPSI. Uh, in this video, we want to talk to you about color, specifically color coming off of your Velox DTF unit in comparison to other printers you might have already have had in your shop. So what we have on the table in front of us is the Mamaki uh, JV160, which you can also see behind me. This is a um, solvent-based printer. Uh, the one that we have in the middle is off of the Epson 3070 DTG printer. We pre-treated the white shirt at 20% just to help get rid of some fibrillation. And then on the end here, we have a direct-to-film transfer off of our Velox printer. And what we hear time and time again after fresh installations is a lot of conversations revolving around color. So we printed these, these three different um, test for you but they were all using the same file what's really interesting and, and this is where a lot of variation comes in this is um, 1200 by 1200 dpi off of the mamaki the epson 3070 is 1200 by 600 and these are the preferred uh, print resolutions to work inside of and then lastly on the vlox we are at 720 by 1800 so you can see we'll have Steve kind of focus in maybe just down on these two colors. This is our targets 50% black. That's a nice gray. Um, and then as Steve kind of comes down and shows you, we'll hit the Epson next. That's still a 50% gray. It's very light. And then you can see the interpretation from the Mamaki is a very, very warm gray with lots of magenta in it. So when you take the same input file and process it through three different output devices you're naturally going to have a color shift the thing that we use when we make a profile and we're working on uh, dialing that profile in on a specific machine is we generally start to look at the grays so steve you come over here and show this engine block uh, we would call this a very cool gray it's, it's got a lot of gray tones in it. Let's skip the Epson because it's hard to see on the white shirt, but come over to the Mamaki and you can see that very warm gray with lots of magenta in it. That's not as much of a profile adjustment as it is taking your artwork back in and readjusting that. So what we have is an option for you on the Velox printer through the Wasatch RIP software is a color atlas generator. And what we can do is we can print out dozens or hundreds of pages of color. And 99% of the time, what we're finding is when a customer says, I don't like the reds, I don't like the blues, I don't like the greens, it's really artwork specific. And when we print out these pages of color, which we'll show you in a second, you can see that the colors that you're targeting exist inside of that profile. It's just that your stock artwork, which was generally printed on a Mamaki or an Epson, is using a different CMYK or RGB recipe to get to that finished uh, target color. So uh, let's clear these off real quick and we're going to lay out some color generator charts to take a look at. We're gonna continue our color discussion, but we cleared the table from our original test file prints, and these are 20 inch by 20 inch color charts from our Wasatch RIP software. And that automatically generates these charts based on all of your own image config settings. So it's really important that you generate these charts yourself through your image config in Wasatch, print it on your printer, and then heat pressed on your garments. And when you, you get a quick overview of, of all the colors, what you like to do, what we like to do last is take your favorite colors from each one of these pages. They have RGB values on top of them here. And then we just referenced the same RGB value. And we built ourselves uh, 324 swatches. So you can see that we've got some cool grays. We've got some warm grays. Right down the middle, you've got all of your magenta shades. So everything from pink to maroon, a small swatch of blues going down. And then we also have our greens. Um, what this is going to do is give you accurate color of what your 
current profile and gamut limitations are. So again, you can print out as many as 500 of these pages. We just did four of them to give you a real um, brief overview of it, but the, the more in-depth you go, the less variation you're going to see. So let's say, Steve, for instance, you come over here and, and zoom in right around here. Let's say that there's one or two reds in there that you really, really like, but none of them are super close. As you increase the amount of pages, you'll get more shades like that and, and then less dramatic variation. But this is what we would prefer when you run into color issues. Don't immediately go towards thinking that you have a bad profile. You may if you're not set up correctly, but we'd like to, <clears throat> excuse me, we would like to have you print out these color charts because there's a really good possibility that the colors you're targeting that your files aren't printing correctly it's just that you're calling out the wrong values. So this is where you go to get the correct color values for your VLOX printer.